Hello folks, welcome to another Writerly Witterings. This is my office, I'm Michael Jex, cup of tea, very nice. Today, simple look at that most simple useful of tools, the ruler. I was going to show drawing lots of pretty nice straight lines. Do you know what? It's pointless. You know what a ruler is. I started out when we moved to this house, I got a new ruler because my daughter had pinched one of the old ones for work at school. And so I got one of these, which is nice because it's got a big bulging bit in the middle here. And what that does is expand whatever you've got behind it. So if I can just find a sheet of paper here, like this. Sheet of paper, put the ruler on it, and there you go, you've got a nice magnifying glass. So I always thought that this was just so you could hold it more firmly on the page, but no, it is actually a magnifying glass, it's designed to be like that. It's very useful, it's very handy, except it's not handy when you want to take something out, when you want to use a small notebook, because it's too big. Nice idea, but fails slightly. So I started investigating different rulers. One I really like is by Kutsua. And this has the advantage that it is very slim because it's aluminium, anodized aluminium, but aluminium. The other thing is, that's really rather nice, that this edge is designed to put on a bit of paper and hold the paper flat, rip it off, and you've got a nice straight line cutting your bit of paper. I will show you. I have here a bit of paper. I will put it down on my desk. And as you can see, it cuts really quite neatly until the end when I ripped it, because I was in a hurry to do it. But it's not perfect. It's quite a raggedy edge on occasion, as you can see. So it's not perfect for that, but it is very slim. And this used to live inside my Midori Traveler's notebook, and I used it quite a lot with pencils. But, it has this anodized aluminium. You can hear it scraping my finger there. And I was never really happy using it with a gold pen nib. I don't think I am still. In fact, I don't think any ruler, apart from possibly a simple cheap plasticky one, I don't think any other ruler is particularly safe with gold nibs because it'll just wear it away because aluminium's quite hard gold's quite soft so it's a useful little ruler i do like it i like its appearance i like its lightness but it's not something i'd use every day and then my daughter went to university and she started doing journaling and all sorts of stuff and she decided these were the best rulers steitler there you go. Really simple, elegant ruler in cross section. Looking at it like that, if that helps, I'm not sure it does. You can see that there's a slope going up, a dip, and then going in the back. And you can also see there's a black line here. Now, why is there a black line? This is a short ruler, same as this one. Remarkably similar in size because they all tend to be sort of 15 centimeter six inch rulers very convenient to put in a notebook convenient to carry around with you it is that bit fatter so if i put the two side by side here it is more than double the thickness of the little kutsua but it does make up for that thickness in this black strip on the back, which is rubber. So when you put it down, it actually holds itself to the paper much more. You can press in the dip and it works very, very well. 
it is an extremely good ruler. But for everyday carry, it's big. I like things that aren't so big. So, some little while ago, I saw a Kako Green ruler on cult pens, because cult pens do tend to have everything that's glorious for stationery. This is ingenious. It is ever so thin. It must be not two millimetres thick. I'd imagine it's one millimetre. It comes in various colours. It has your numbers. It has a very nice smooth line. I believe it is just stainless steel. I don't think it's aluminium. But it has this brilliant little idea, which is a clip. So that whatever your notepad, you can hang it on your notepad pages and it forms a perfect bookmark. Or it just hangs there and it's there whenever you want it. And the thing as good is it's actually quite a tight clip. I don't know if you can see, it's making my paper move quite a lot as I try to put it on or take it off. This is very simple, but it is exceptionally elegant. It's made by Caco Green. No idea why any firm would want to call itself CAC, but hey, there you go. It's made, I believe, in China. It's designed by Lin Fan, L-I-N-F-A-N. No idea who he or she is, but it is beautiful in its simplicity. It's ever so light. Much lighter than the Steidler. Actually, I think it's a hell of a lot lighter than the aluminium. Uh, who made this? Aluminium Kutsua. This, I think, is just about the perfect size. And when you've got your William Hanna or similar notepad, all you do is stick it in on a relevant page and you've got your bookmark. Now, perfect in every way, apart from one thing. That is, it's actually quite fat when it's used as a bookmark. Because looking at it here, you can see it more clearly, no doubt, when it's on a sheet of paper. You can see there, I think, that it's got a big loop at the top and the tongue sticks up quite a long way as well. But If I'm out and about, I've got a notebook on me. That is obviously just impractical and too big. This is very practical and ideal if there's a pocket it can fit into. That's the problem. Obviously, if you just put it inside a notebook, it will slide straight through the pages. Which is not good. This is really good with that little rubber strip. It won't slide through the pages anything like as easily but still not quite perfect. It is a bit fat and it's not quite as elegant a solution if you're just carrying something really thin and light with you like this. It fits in your notebook, makes a nice bookmark and it is really rather pretty as well. I would still not use any of these three with one of my good nibs because I think that any of them will wear a hole in them. Possibly these two, the Steidler and the Khaki, Kako Green, are the two that would be smoothest. I certainly will never use this with a fountain pen. It just feels like sandpaper when you rub your finger along it, as you can hear. These are at least very, very smooth. So hopefully they wouldn't do anything like as much damage. But I think, having said that, I've wittered on enough. This is the best. Buy one. And so, there you have it. My personal favourite is the funny little cheapy chinese thing. Which is just elegant and rather nice. But... You will have your own favourite, no doubt. We all do. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully next week I'm going to have a Conway Stewart for you, which will be a nice change. 
And apart from that, if you want to help support the channel, please go to the bottom where you can add your name to my Patreon lists and you can like it, share it, subscribe, hit the bell, all those things which you all know about because you watch YouTubes. So I'm going to shut up at that point and go away. Thanks a lot for watching and bye bye. You thought I was joking. <laughs>